there. So today we're gonna change the oil on my 1990 Catalina 34. She has a universal M25 XP. Uh, the most of the Catalinas from this era have the universal. It's the M25 or the M25 XP. I think some later ones might have the M35. Anyway, to do this, we need oil. I'm using four quarts of 15W40. I've got an oil filter. This one has a grip on it. And then I have this 12 volt oil pump. Um, it's got an inlet and an outlet and it hooks up to the battery. Um, you can also use a hand pump. But since I don't have a pump with a built-in reservoir, I have uh, containers for holding used oil. And then we've got a spot at the marina for discharging oil. And I've got some towels, shop towels, and some oil absorbent pads. Oh, and then a Ziploc bag. And yeah, let's get it going. So you need to warm up the engine a little bit, get the oil, um, turn it from sludge into actual oil, which I have already done. So the next step is going to be uncovering it. I'm sitting on it right now. And then we're going to go from there. Here's the engine a little bit closer up. Um, as you can see, yep, it is a M25 XP. Uh, so the first thing we need to do now that we have the engine warmed up is to make all the connections. So if you've changed oil on a car, this is gonna be pretty similar, except that you can't really get under the engine. So here's the oil pan down here and where a regular engine, you would just put you know, a pan under here or something like that. Uh, instead, we have this tube, you can see here, which goes around here. And right now it's just clipped off up here. And so we're actually going to put our oil extractor tube into here. And that's how we're gonna get the oil out of the engine. So we don't have gravity to help us like you would in the car. Okay, let's just set that aside. So when you insert this tube, you're supposed to stick it all the way in until it stops, which is like two feet. And then stick the other end into the oil container. Now we power up the electric pump. So realized as my little electric pump was really struggling, that we did not warm the engine up enough. I ran it for about five minutes, which now I know is not long enough. So now I ran it for like another 10 or maybe a little more than that at a higher RPM. And it definitely feels warmer. And so hopefully the oil will flow more freely and this will work better. And if you've got a hand pump rather than the electric one that I've got, you're still gonna wanna warm the oil up in this way or it will just take like years for the oil to actually drain out. Okay, this is all the way in and everything is hooked up and we have our relief. So the top is also open, so we're gonna try it again. Okay, so now that the old oil is removed, it's time to change the oil filter. And I'm going to put this plastic bag over the oil filter to try to catch as much of the oil that spills out as possible. Most of it. Oh, we also made a big mess. Ooh. Lubricated 
quite a bit of the engine, the outside, which is not the side that you normally want to worry about. Now that's done, I'm going to get our new filter. Before attaching it, I want to take a little bit of nice oil and move up the filter and put it on. filter wrench to get it tight. Good. And now we just need to disconnect the oil pump, which I probably already should have done, and then add the new oil. Ew. This isn't a good job for somebody who doesn't like to get dirty. Although, that's probably true of a lot of boat repairs. Boats are like surprisingly gross. Wouldn't you agree, Katharina? Bother me as much. <laughs> it's true. I mean, toilets explode, engines are old and gnarly, especially saltwater boats. And then you have, like, on the inside, you get you know, condensation, you get mold, you get that, like, boat smell, which is all of those things all together, plus time plus closed space, I would say. Now, put this cap back on. I'll just clip it on there so it doesn't go flying all over the place. Now, we add four quarts of fresh oil. And we remove the full gallon of oil, so that is what I'm putting back in, but we will check it before we go on any long adventures. Okay, now that we've filled it up, we're gonna check the level, which the dipstick is way over here. It's super annoying and hard to reach. It's not that hard to reach, it's just annoying if you don't know where to look for it. Wiped it off, let's stick it back in. Looks maybe a little over full. So let's run the engine now and check it again. So now we're checking for leaks. So after we finished running the engine, we checked the oil level one more time and it was right at the top of the fuel full line, which is where you want it to be. I guess some of the oil just needed to work its way through the engine. Uh, and then we just made sure everything was tight, put the stair cover back on, and then disposed of the oil here at the marina. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more how-to and sailing adventures. So, okay.